Over the last couple of months, I've been developing a project called Hellbar. I still haven't decided whether this is going to be a comic, a novel, or something in between. But as I develop the story arc and the narrative, I'm coming up with all sorts of exotic, weird, and wonderful characters. And I've got to the point where I want to focus on specific character designs. And I thought it would be fun to take you through the process of those character designs. Starting with the Demon Gang. First off, I'm drawing the leader of this Demon Gang. Through this character, I want to express arrogance, mischievousness, and a duplicitous nature. All the good qualities you'd expect from a demon. I've given him a fairly primitive weapon of a beaten up old baseball bat with nails in it, but also put him in a fairly dapper coat with fur lining, just to give him a veneer of class. I want to be able to express these characteristics through his facial expressions. His temperament is such that he might be completely composed in one instance and then out of control in the next. Now I'm going for a final draft of my first demon to lock down the design so far. This design could change at any time really, um, but for the time being, I'm pretty happy with this, this first demon. In one of my initial illustrations for Hellbar, I drew a lizard humanoid character in a jumpsuit carrying a huge axe. I think this could be a great start for my second demon, and so I begin sketching. As I'm making the initial sketches, I reference some photographs of reptiles to help inform the believability of creating this outlandish character. I stick with the axe as his choice of weapon, which leads me to think of a medieval executioner's garb. So once more I do a little research to help along the process. Obviously I want this character to be imposing and a force to be reckoned with, but I also want to be able to illustrate a level of sentience and emotion when needed, which will be challenging within his reptilian form. Almost accidentally, I land upon the idea of giving him multiple arms, or moving independently. This seems like the key to expressing his intelligence and emotions, as he can be endlessly expressive through his hand gestures. So the second character is coming together. Once more I do a final sketch to really consolidate the character. As I'm creating the final sketch, I allow other elements to fall into place. I'm including important details within his outfit, such as his leather purse, the buckles on his belt, the metal plate on his collar. All these small details help give a believability to the character. A 
Okay, brilliant. I'm pretty happy with my second character. So let's move on to the third. For my third demon, I start off by going for a slightly goofier design than the previous two. I'm thinking of a being that has less going on in his noggin than the others. A demon that is happy to follow without complaint, that's just there for the thrill of being a demon and doing bad demon stuff. Possibly there to add a bit of comic relief. I start off by giving him a kind of barbarian look, but that's not quite working for me. As with demon number one, I'm exploring various facial expressions to give the character a good emotional range. Nevertheless, I still need to develop him further so that he doesn't look like a kind of generic ogre type character. I try injecting a whimsical vibe and give him a mini guitar but I think that's a little too cute. So let me try something else. Out of the blue, I think to put him in a 90s shell suit. It seems to work, so I'm gonna go with it. After all, there aren't many things more evil than a 90s shell suit. Now I seem to have created something quite menacing. In fact, more menacing than I had intended. So, I'll have another go. This time making his head a little rounder and his hands larger. So hopefully going back to the slightly goofy look that I wanted before. Adding the little ponytail at the very end I think really helps develop the character. Um, just puts him on the right side of Sinister. Now it seems important to know what kind of footwear he's got on. And so the idea of flip-flop seems to juxtapose nicely with the rest of his attire. For the fourth demon, I'm going back to a classic horned animal look as a starting point. As these sketches develop, it's becoming obvious that this demon's going to be a more mysterious character, something unknown, perhaps with his own agenda, therefore probably not appropriate for a demon gang. Nevertheless, he's shaping up nicely, so let's keep going. I'm sure I'll find a place for him somewhere within my story. Now I'm doing a final rough draft to really get to grips with the design and to add as much realism within this fantasy world, of course, that I can. Adding smouldering heat lines coming from the shoulders seems to be a nice final touch. Okay, so now I've created drafts for four unique demons. All that's left is to scan them, clean them up on Photoshop, and come up with some names for them too. Demon number one, Ethel. Demon number two, Adrian the Hunter. Demon number three, Dead Lemon. Demon number four, Unknown.
Collectively, I'm naming them the Bleach Boys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm planning to make more videos on this theme, so if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, bye.